Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with uh, a just for fun video. It's actually for the Craft Plus Challenge. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with Craft Plus, every month there's a new challenge and you fit the requirements of the challenge and use plenty of craft and you're in. So it's a, it's a just for fun challenge. And there are um, probably some of the most incredible artists that uh, I've seen in any group. And there are all kinds of things other than 12 by 12 layouts that are produced for these challenges. And so it's just really a fascinating group. If you haven't uh, checked it out, I would encourage you to do so. So I had, as you know, I'm getting ready to go on a trip, and this was the last, after all the, the photo, the uh, pages I made for um, the commitments I had, design team and, and so forth, I had this photo left that hadn't been used. And it's one of my favorite photos from uh, last weekend's trip to Savannah that uh, James and Ava made. and he caught it when she wasn't aware. And so she's sitting here and you can kind of see her pretty curly hair. She's doing something on her phone. Um, and, and he caught it so that you see the like river street, um, the shops and restaurants, and then the water's just over the other side of the balcony. So, and the, the balcony is wrapped with, um, rope. It's a, it's a big, um, uh, waterfront kind of place. So I decided, I also had on top of my desk, this little thing of, um, the, uh, punch out ephemera from Spectrum Sherbet from 49 and Market. And so I pulled some pink things out and a pink title and a couple pink squirrels and some other things. I, I, I'm i gonna try, I'm not sure what these rub-ons are gonna do. I think they'll probably look fairly muted on top of the, the, um, the craft, but let's give it a try. On the back of some of the packaging was this little thing, which I just dearly love. And I thought that would be a good backing for the photo, kind of like that. I'm just going to kind of place it maybe a little bit um, south and east of center. And then we'll just build from that. I'm going to put this down, and before I put the photo on... Let's see, the photo would go like that. So I want the this rub-on to go kind of like that. Right about there. So let me get, and this is just from the package of rub-ons in the uh, pink, orange, and yellow kind of color scheme and I thought this might look kind of cool. I haven't used, I've used just about every sheet in the rub-ons, but I hadn't used anything from this particular sheet and it's really kind of cool. There are some little splatters out here that add uh, a really nice textural look. It's got that, the kind of latitude, longitude lines that give it a, a world of traveler sort of look. Okay, that didn't completely come off. It doesn't really necessarily have to. I do not mind it when rub-ons get a little bit Yeah, aren't completely rubbed on. So, okay, that looks great. And it just looks like it's mixed media that's right there on the page. So now I'm going to 
do this. I'll cover up that orange. And I'll put that on a line with that. Now I'm going to use some other rub-ons in each corner. I'm going to use the lighter ones down here at the bottom and the darker ones at the top and there's no particular rhyme or reason for that. And I usually just use one of these and I cut one shorter and the other longer. I'm gonna use the whole thing here. I actually have, let me lay these down upside down. I have this bit, and I could do this one shorter and one longer. I'll make this one shorter, and I'll put it right here, and then I'll overlay that with the, uh, with the rub-on. Let's look at that. Oops. I don't like how I did that because it shows through those little holes and it's not as easy to pull it back, but I'm going to because it's worth it not to have that messy look. And, you know, some messy looks you pay for, some messy looks you cover up or correct. Okay, so there, and I'm just gonna put it, Okay, that didn't completely get rid of that. And I'm sorry that I am making you watch me undo that mess. Let me get this, and that probably wouldn't make any difference. But I would know, and it would bother me. Okay, so there, and that's a little bit right there, and I can do, do that with it, that's fine. Okay, so now let's get this big long guy, and I want the stitching part kind of down. This isn't straight, it isn't parallel to the bottom, and I want it to be Okay, when I photograph it, it's not going to look straight anyway. So I'm going to go here and extend it out to there. And I've got this one here. So let's put... this one and i think i'm going to use liquid glue so as not to have that same problem and i'm going to do it like that about the same distance down and this is going to go like so. Okay, now let's see if we can get this done. That already started coming up. You're not gonna be able to see the stripes very well, I don't think. It may surprise me a little bit, but there will be subtle texture and that stitching is white, so it will show. Okay, and that some of the tips of the little triangles there came off, but I think it gave it an interesting sort of look. I'll just kind of pay attention to that here and that in 
and some of these these are on there you know kind of unevenly they're meant to look sort of haphazard and that's that's kind of what you're what you're going for so it doesn't matter if something if a little bit's missing like right there that wouldn't even and what's missing here are the parts by the okay by the holes there okay so now let's turn this over and finish this guy up uh, I l thought I would add this butterfly. This butterfly was cut out of the same packaging that this came from. And it's like 800 <laughs> pound weight cardstock. I'm gonna have it like that. Let that go there. And then I thought this could be a nice title. She doesn't have a big old smile on her face, but I think on a, on a trip, she loves Savannah. She loves the food there and she loves the atmosphere. It's, it's, there's a vibe there that makes you feel different. It's a coastal vibe and it's, um, it's just a little bit different kind. And they were staying kind of right in the middle of the cool area. Okay, I've got this flare and I can see a spot for it here underneath the butterfly wing. So I'm gonna put it there and I think given where it is, I'm gonna use the white squirrel with just a little bit of glue. I really like that rub on. And I'm just kind of concentrating the cluster in the middle and these things out in the in the corners and it's going to be a very simple design i'm going to put these two hearts down here overlapping and i've got these pink leaves that i'm going to tuck up under the photo and kind of curve around maybe these will have to go someplace else because I think these will kind of come down to there. And so I'll do these little hearts maybe right here or in the upper cluster. And I could actually do the little, the little pink squirrel. And I have another rub on that I thought I might use, but I wanted to see how these worked. And I think I'm gonna use this one that says this day because it's a slightly darker pink than those and they show, so I'm thinking it'll show. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep these small word strips or phrase strips connected. So I'll kind of put that off to the side and I might do that as part of this. So let me get these glued down before I forget. Having anything as um, Uh, as 
dainty or finely cut as these facing down. Um, when I put them in a page protector, it's I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. I'm gonna be sure that is up far enough there that it stays on the page. You know what? The this day if you go right there and those hearts. I think that'll work. Let me glue these down. Normally I would want them to be free. <laughs> I would want to set them free. But here I want to be sure that they don't hook on the page protector and, and bend back. And Okay, so let's do this rub on and then we'll figure out what to do with the hearts. I'm going to use I guess I can use the broad tip. When it's a word, I kind of want it all to come off. So I'm kind of doing a little more pressing. And when I do it with the pointed end, I can kind of see it separating from the uh, acetate. And that's kind of what you want. There's a little bit there that's coming up. All right, that works. And I've got that down, so we're good. Um, I think this little guy on some foam and the hearts up there with him. Let's do that. Kind of right there where that ends. And then I'm gonna put the light pink one down and slightly tilted that way. And this one will get glued right onto the top of it, kinda going that way. And I don't want that glop of glue I pressed too hard there. Okay. I think I'm gonna call this one done. This was easy. I will add some journaling um, about the, the date, but this is really kind of more an, an art photo that James took. And I think um, it's there's not a particular story about it but it certainly is a monochromatic, different shades of pink, and everything on here except the flare and the, um, and the squirrel, squirrels are from Spectrum Sherbet. The squirrels are a gift from Suzanne Madison, who die cut and, or, or punched a million of them for me, and there's one that'll fit every layout about Ava. And the flare, of course, is from Dottie about flare. And just a note to Adam, that's, and of course, by the time you see this, um, I'll be on my way to see Adam. I can tell him myself. Um, I need more pink 
uh, especially that lighter shade of pink. So while I'm at DAF headquarters, if some pink flare happened to go missing, don't tell Adam where they probably are. So thanks for keeping my secret. Bye.